to show you how to paint the snail. First, you're gonna cut out the circle out of your sheet. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's just gonna be how you line it up on the plate. And again, I have a little bit bigger plate, so this should fit your plate pretty close. So there he is. And then now you're gonna take another piece of tracing paper. Just cut out a piece about the size of your snail. like that and we're going to trace over the design with a pencil so trace the grass trace the flower Make sure you hold the paper down so it doesn't move too much. Make sure you get all of them. that tracing paper set that aside for a minute and using the marker again I'm going to trace him on your plate and again make sure it's going through lift up and make sure but it should go through just fine Now, again, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just so you know where to lay down your pieces that we're gonna paint. We're gonna put this together kind of like a puzzle. And we're gonna paint straight onto the paper, which is a little different. Okay, lift that up and you should see your design. <clears throat> and now you can set your plate aside a little bit. Now we're gonna cut out all the little pieces of the snail. So first, sorry, see you can see this. I'm gonna cut out the grass. this one at a time so you don't lose the pieces might be a good idea So now that you have your grass, you can see it fits right here. And don't worry if it's not perfect because those lines that you drew on there will fire off when we fire it in the kiln. And you're gonna grab a brush, and you're gonna paint on the back of the grass. So you wanna do it kind of fast, get a good amount on there. 
Don't worry if it's messy. This is gonna be a little messy, but it's supposed to kind of look like a mosaic. So then we're gonna place that down. Okay, push it down pretty good. And now I'm gonna cut out the other piece of grass here. I'm gonna do the same thing. And paint the green on there. You can do this on top of a paper plate or something, but if you do get it on your table or yourself or your clothes, it'll wash right off, so don't worry too much. And then place that down where it goes. Okay, make sure you have a little cup of water. Whoops, I got some paper on there. And you can rinse your brush out. Oh, there's a moth in my water, oh my goodness. So now we're gonna cut out the body of the snail. So the head, don't worry about his antennae. So cut that out. Like that. Okay. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. This is meant to look kind of like a mosaic. Then you're gonna take your yellow paint and paint on the back of him. All right, then you're gonna put him down where he needs to go. Okay, there he is. Push him down. You wanna make sure there's really no bubbles or wrinkles in it as much as you can help. Now we're gonna cut out the flower because that is yellow and white. So we'll use this yellow. And just cut out the flower's body. Don't worry about the stem. Flower. So we're going to do yellow where the petals are. And again, don't worry if it's perfect. Wash your brush off and then grab some white and paint that in. And Carefully take your whoop, take your flower, and then put it here where it's supposed to. Oh, let me move my plate over. I guess you can't see it right there, and push it down everywhere so it sticks. You want to make sure you cover the whole entire paper. Okay. Next, we have the different colors of the shell. So. one of these out or you can do the whole thing if you're careful I'm gonna do that so you can kind of see through the back to see the lines so you're gonna take your brush wash it off and uh, you're gonna start with the orange here on the bottom and just paint in that oval part of that orange wash your brush then you can do the red, paint that little part in like that. And now the darker red, 
oops, like that. And again, the yellow. Okay, now you're gonna take that. And this one's a little trickier to line up, but you're gonna stick her down like that. Okay, so before that dries too much, now we're gonna get our dark color and I have to grab that, so one second. Okay, so now you're gonna grab some of that color and you're gonna cover up the whole rest of the plate. Now I'm not gonna do my whole plate because I have a bigger plate. So starting from on top of your paper, you're gonna paint out like this. You're trying not to get paint underneath as much as you can help. So paint over everything. This is gonna be our sky. And you wanna go kind of fast. all the places that there isn't paper all the way to the edge I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge just for time's sake but you should go all the way to the edge beautiful awesome now you are going to carefully peel up each section and you're gonna have a cool little mosaic kind of look. It might tear, but that's okay. And it's okay that it's not filled in. That's the look of it. Awesome. And now you're gonna take a tiny brush. I'm gonna find one here. And take some of your black paint and you're going to just fill in the details. So you want to put a smile on them, eyeballs, his antennae. And you want to trace around those lines that you had there. Now, if this part makes you nervous, don't worry. It's not going to look funny if you don't do this step. He still looks super cute. I would at least put his smile and his antennae in. And his eyeballs, of course. So there's that. And then we'll go around our flower here. And then we'll do our stem. Like that. And if you'd like, you could outline everything. That looks kind of nice, but it's, it's a little tricky. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're still gonna know it's a snail and it's cute. There you are. And make sure you sign the back. And when you fire him up, he's gonna be so super cute. 
So again, let me know if you have any questions or any trouble with anything. There is instructions with the step-by-step. -step. I think in the instructions, I forgot to do one step here. Before you peel the paper out, if you wanna splatter some yellow paint on the background, it kinda of looks like um, just some texture or stars in the background, you can do that, or you don't have to. Um, but yeah, here he is, super cute guy. Thanks, have so much fun.